Hi everyone, I'm Yifan Gong, a first year PhD candidate from Northeastern University. Today I'm going to present our paper, a privacy preserving oriented DNN pruning and mobile acceleration framework. Nowadays, we have seen the successful application of deep neural networks in many areas. And along with the great success is the ever-increasing model sizes. The large model sizes have brought multiple challenges. It's projected that most of deep learning systems will be deployed in low-power edge devices. So for the as devices, they usually have limited form factor and power budget. Furthermore, they may re require multiple sensor inputs and multimodal DNNs. And the applications will usually have real-time performance requirement. Therefore, it's quite necessary to use model compression techniques to help the deployment of DNNs on mobile edge devices. However, it's quite time consuming for non-experts to achieve model compression successfully. But if the user hope to achieve model compression with the help from others, they might have the data privacy concerns. For mobile users, they tend to store their data locally and not share the data with others. And for some kinds of data, such as the medical data, is not allowed to be shared with others according to regulations. And as for the real-time DNA inference requirements, we hope to resort to compiler for the support to help us achieve inference accelerations on hardware. Among with different model compression techniques, weight pruning technique is, is a representative Early works of weight pruning is focused on non-structured pruning. Um, weights at arbitrary locations can be pruned. However, non-structured pruning leads to sparse and irregular weight matrices, and that's not compatible with hardware accelerations, so the latency will be very high. Later research works consider to incorporate regularity into the design of a pruning scheme and propose a structured weight pruning. Structured weight pruning removes whole rows and columns of, of a GEMM weight matrix. It can, re, it can maintain a full matrix format, therefore it's compatible with hardware accelerations. However, structured weight pruning is quite aggressive as it re removes entire rows and columns. So it may suffer from accuracy loss, especially when the compression rate is high. Therefore, in our paper, we consider another pruning scheme, which is pattern-based pruning. It's the best pruning scheme with the help of compilers. Pattern-based pruning includes two pattern-based pruning dimensions, kernel pattern pruning and connectivity pruning. Kernel pattern pruning choose to reserve a fixed number of weights in each kernel. And as for connectivity pruning, it cuts the, the connections between certain input channels and output channels, which is equivalent to remove the whole kernels. As pattern-based pruning removes a fixed number of weights in each kernel, it will lead to a fixed compression rate. So connectivity pruning is actually a good supplement to kernel pattern pruning to achieve a higher compression and acceleration rate. At theory level, kernel pattern pruning matches with Brin's cognition. And at algorithm level, it can achieve accuracy improvement. At compiler level, we choose to identify and group patterns through reordering technique to and maximize instruction level parallelism. At hardware level, for the three by three kernels, we choose to reserve four ways in each kernel. The four input patterns especially is especially compatible with the SIMD architecture of embedded CPU and GPUs. As for connectivity pruning, 
at theory or algorithm level is more flexible and available than filter or channel pruning because it has a finer granularity compared with these structured pruning schemes. And at compiler or hardware level, the core screen irregularity can be mitigated by compiler reordering. So we can still maintain parallelism degree with connectivity pruning. Uh, here is a figure showing our algorithm level framework. Um, the framework is composed of two participants. One is the DNN compression entity and the other is the data owner, which is also known as the user. The data owner has a pre-trained model to be compressed and has a local private data set that cannot be shared with others. So the DNN compression entity will receive the pre-trained model from the data owner and apply weight pruning with synthetic data. Here the synthetic data is randomly generated and uh, does not require any information from user's private data set. After pruning, the DNN compression entity will send the prone model back to the data owner. The data owner only needs to retrain the model, retrain the prone model with the help of a retraining function from the DNN compression entity using the local training data set to reboot the accuracy. So the data owner don't have to, uh, doesn't have to care about the pruning process, but just needs to retrain the model to, for, for the accuracy. And the retraining is quite similar to the training process. Uh, we formulate the privacy preserving oriented pattern based pruning as an optimization problem. Um, the objective function is to uh, minimize the forbidden norm between the original output volume of user's pre-trained model and the output of the compressed model given the same input uh, data volume. And the weight matrix has to satisfy certain requirements to, for the pattern-based pattern pruning. Uh, with the formulation, we, equivalent, we equivalently write this problem in the ADMM format as below. Uh, with the help of, a, of an indicator function i and auxiliary variable a, uh, we can then obtain the augmented Lagrangian of the optimization problem as below. ADMM regularization iteratively solves two sub-problems until convergence. And for the first sub-problem, the first term is a differentiable reconstruction error, and the second term is also differentiable. So this sub-problem can be solved by stochastic gradient descent efficiently. As for the second sub-problem, it's not differentiable, but it has analytical solutions. The solution is to select the pattern that leads to the largest forbidden norm of the prone model for each kernel in the layer. And here is a figure showing our compiler level design. Uh, we adopt several optimization techniques to, to facilitate the deployment of the compressed models. Um, the optimizations include filter kernel reorder, compressed weight storage, and the load redundancy re elimination. Um, I, I will then show some experiment results. Uh, the first part I, uh, of the result is about compression rate and accuracy. Here is a figure, uh, here is a table showing our results on Cephaton data set. Uh, we can achieve a 16 times compression rate and almost no accuracy loss for VGG16, ResNet18, and ResNet50. And with the promising results on Cephaton dataset, we also invest, invest, investigate the performance of our proposed framework on ImageNet dataset using ResNet18. Uh, we can achieve a four times compression rate with almost no top five accuracy degradation. And, and this, that is much better than network slimming and the DCP. 
we could further achieve a six times compression rate with 88 top five, accu uh, top five accuracy. Um, besides the compression rate and accuracy performance, we also measure the inference speed on mobile platforms and compared our proposed framework with three state-of-the-art end-to-end DNN frameworks, um, TensorFlow Lite, TVM, and MNN. We can see that our proposed framework actually outperforms all of these three frameworks, and the speed up is, uh, is up to 4.2 times, 2.5 times, and two times. And and we can see that we can achieve real-time inference on mobile GPUs, and sometimes we can even achieve more. We can even achieve real-time inference on mobile CPUs. That's all. Thank you.